A shave with the Replitech JFK edition from Global Shave and Sheldon Quinn coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and WhatsAppers everywhere. It's Mark at GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. This time around, we're going to have a shave with the brand new Replitech JFK Edition Razor. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. It comes from GlobalShave.club and Sheldon Quinn. It is a stainless steel handle that is 18 karat gold plated. Isn't that beautiful? With a rose gold razor head, a Gillette Tech rose gold razor head. Really, really just stunning, stunning, stunning. It, uh, it comes in a, uh, a tin with uh, five Shaver Boy razor blades, a polishing cloth, and a certificate of authenticity, which reads lifetime warranty, CNC machine to exacting specifications, first production run of 500 razors, collector's edition. Really, really very nice. The razor also comes uh, enclosed in this little pouch here, uh, all three pieces, because it is a three-piece razor. It is uh, this beautiful stainless steel handle that is 18 karat gold plated and uh, base plate and cap on the razor head. And we're going to shave with it. Really, really very, very nice. Now, there is some terrific information uh, at globalshave.club about this razor. It's a Replitech, they call it the Replitech JFK Edition, 18 karat gold plated handle, rose gold plated head. Only six like it were ever made. That's the history of the, the razor. Um, we took the spirit of that razor and it built it around the 1965 model. It is 100% stunning. I agree. And uh, the legend of the JFK Gillette Tech goes like this. Uh, in December 1961, the Gillette Company made a special collection of razors for JFK. Only six were ever made, all of which were given to the president. JFK mostly gave them as gifts to world leaders. Uh, there was something special about the tech that had a unique allure to the young president who had a very special aristocrat. So there is a lot of history on this razor uh, and the, about the rose gold plating and... Uh, it is, it is terrific. The construction here uh, says uh, the handle, 100% stainless steel that is weighted to the exact specification of the original 1965 tech, just so you know. So the, um, I mean, it, it is terrific. Electroplated with rose gold on the head and 18 karat gold over stainless steel handle. Uh, really, really terrific. Uh, it's stunning. So we're gonna have a shave with it. And, uh, uh, a terrific razor like that deserves a good shaving cream. So we're going to use the Art of Shaving Sandalwood Shaving Cream. I'm also going to kind of kick it off with their Sandalwood Pre-Shave. I'm going to use my Vikings Blade Grand Chairman Shaving Bowl to whip up the lather. I'm going to use my Samoge 1800 uh, Bore Brush. I'm going to finish it off with um, my Shash Allen Block. Uh, some Avon Wild Country Splash and uh, Avon Wild Country Aftershave Balm. So that's it. Uh, and uh, I'm also going to use an Astra razor blade. I've shaved with this already with the Shaver Boy razor blade and I got a really, really efficient shave. Really efficient shave. So this time around I'm going to try the Astra, which for me are a little smoother and I kind of want to compare and contrast those two blades because I think the Shaver Boy razor blade has a little more bite, a little more tooth to it, and that actually increased the aggressiveness of this razor. Sheldon says that on a scale of 1 to 5, it's a mild razor at about 2.5. I think the Shaver Boy blade up that aggression a little bit to about a 3 for me. I think the Astra will probably bring it back to about 2.5 for me. Um, certainly, I had three passes and it was very, very close. I could be done after two passes with this razor. It really is very efficient. Okay, so let's wet the face and let's, uh, let's get to the shave. Okay, I'm gonna get some, some of this pre-shave oil here. One, two, three, I like to get four drops. That's about what I like to get. Really work it in. 
Love this sandalwood scent from the Art of Shaving. I think it's one of the nicest sandalwood scents out there. Yeah, I'm gonna need just one more drop here, just for my upper lip. That's terrific. Okay, let me move my tablet out of the way. Okay, and let's dump this water out. Nice hot water. Let's get some of this sandalwood shaving cream. I'm gonna get about that much there. That's probably a little too much to be honest with you, but uh, better more than not. You know, a little more than a little less on camera. I don't wanna run out if I have to do a, a third pass. So let's get my brush. There it is. I'm using the 1800 because it has a longer handle than my uh, Samog Excelsior. Uh, that has a shorter handle and this um, this shaving bowl is a little deeper so this will fit in there nicely and work up the lather without having the whole handle submerged like the uh, like the Excel like the Samoog Excelsior. It's a terrific that's a terrific brush. I just wish the handle was a little longer. I'm gonna have to look around and find a Samoog brush with the same kind of 90% tops bore, bore, bore hair, um, but with a longer handle. This is 75% tops bore hair. Very nice, still soft, nice, but uh, I think I prefer the Excelsior because it's a little softer. Okay, that's through. I'm gonna get a little bit of water here, just a little bit of water here, and a little more water. Here we go. This sandalwood shave cream from The Art of Shaving this stuff, I mean, look how quickly it builds a lather. Look at that. I've already got these wonderful, beautiful peaks. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Maybe just a little, maybe just a little more water. Yeah, that is something. Okay, here we go. That's done. Look at that. Look at those peaks. Beautiful. Okay, so we're just going to paint this on. It's going to give me a nice, thick carpet of lather, good protection. I love the glide. Yeah, and the spore brush is nice, although the, the Excelsior is definitely a little softer. But this is nice too. Wow, that is terrific. I am gonna make sure I have a little more on the chin there. Okay, let me rinse the, my hands off a little bit there. Okay, let's get my Astro Blade. Okay, like all Gillette textile heads, it has those four tabs in the corner that just align the blade beautifully. So the, the balance and alignment is spot on. Okay, isn't that, isn't that beautiful? Okay, so I'm gonna heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water and then swirl it in the sink to kind of average out the temperature of it so it's not too hot, not too cold. Just to kind of warm that up a little bit, there it is. And then just swirl in the sink. Now that's the temperature. Okay, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Oh, you just need a light touch. It cuts through this whisker like butter. And I've got a day and a half worth of whiskers. I'm shaving in the evening. My last shave was yesterday morning. Wow, that's terrific.
For me, I think the Asher blade does make a difference. It is a little smoother. Boy, that's, that's nice. With this razor blade, it does have a nice mild quality, but very, very efficient. Probably about two and a half, maybe two and three quarters, something like that. I do think that the uh, Shaver Boy blade really upped the aggression. But that's the first pass. Let's rinse. Yeah, that's a nice first pass. That's a very nice first pass. I don't think I'm going to need three passes, really, not with this razor. I think two is going to do it. And, and usually, this pass is is on par with a lot of other first passes. It's probably in my top five, really. As far as efficiency, really nice and efficient. And I think the second pass is gonna just close the book on this shade, that's for sure. And I've got plenty of, uh, plenty of cream here. Uh, this is, this, this shaving cream is terrific. It's, Offering me a lot of protection, a lot of slickness. Nice cushion. All right, okay. That's got it. Okay. Rinse that a little bit. Okay, so here's pass number two. We're gonna go east to west across the grain. Boy, that's terrific. Handle is wonderful. That tight knurling just, it's not going to slip out of your hands. Yeah, that's, that's mild and efficient, no doubt about it. But make sure you use a light touch. Really, that's the key with this razor. A nice light touch and let the razor do all the work and it will. The handle has a nice amount of weight for that. Okay, the end tabs are exposed a little more, okay, but I don't think it's too terrible that it's going to tag your, your nostril while you're doing the upper lip and underneath the nose, that sort of thing. But it is maneuverable. It will get those little bits and do a nice job of getting those, no doubt about it. Okay. 
Okay. All right, that's the second pass done. Let's rinse. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. That's a two pass shave with that razor. A nice, nice touch. It does have a mild quality to it, but it's very, very efficient. Um, I dare say a third pass will probably get even, even close. But I don't need a third pass. I really don't. I really don't. This goes back to that old school where you see a lot of guys posting about uh, online and different wet shaving forums, talking to their fathers and grandfathers and their their uncles and that sort of thing. And uh, these gentlemen from uh, previous generations only did one pass with their Gillette Super Speed, and that's all they needed. And uh, so I say, you know, if if if, if you depends on the range and the blade you're using. If you feel you're done after two passes, then you're done. Uh, if you're just starting out and uh, just doing a wet shave uh, and you're using a, a razor that, uh, well, you're just trying to find the technique and everything, if you're done after one pass, you're done after one pass. Some, some razors you need two passes, some you need three, just depends. But that's, uh, let's, but you'll learn, you'll learn how to gauge it. Okay, I'm going to do my two final inches, one warm, one cold. Get this slickness off with the warm rinse and close my pores with the cold rinse. Here's the warm water rinse. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's a, that really is a close shave. Two pass shave. Very nice. All right, here is my uh, cold water rinse. Nice, boy, that's terrific. Wow. That's great. Here's a nice, clean, fresh towel waiting for me. That's that's nice. That's a that was a smooth, close shave. That was really, really close. I mean, that's a nice shave. We'll see how much of a close shave it is. With the Shash Allen block. And see how much feedback we get. See if we get any stinging, any zinging. This I've always tell you this piece is great. I love it for my post shave routine. It has antiseptic qualities. It will close uh, close up small nicks and cuts, micro abrasions, uh, that sort of thing. Knock down irritation if you have any irritation from the shave. I always use it. Okay, so here we go. Smooth. That's nice and smooth. Maybe, maybe a shallow minor zing, maybe. Maybe one or two, maybe. Other than that, not, um, Going to put that in my dish like that and let that air dry. Okay, let me uh, let me mop up a little bit and I'll be right back to finish the shave. Hang in there with me. Okay. That, yeah, that cleaned up nicely. Look at that. That's 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 a nice brush. Really a nice bore brush. And uh, as I say, it's. It's soft, not as soft as the Excelsior, but it certainly did the job, and I like the, the size of the handle. And it hangs nicely right there on my uh, Admiral, my Vikings Blade Admiral razor stand. Like that a lot. Okay, Wild Country, aftershave splash, a little bit of this. Okay, here we go. Nice. Not, uh, you know, no burning or anything like that. Just a little more here. No, no burning, no stinging, nothing like that. A really nice, close, comfortable shave. And here we have a little bit of the Wild Country Aftershave Balm. About that, about that much for my head and maybe even the face too while this splash evaporates a little bit. It is winter, you know, gotta be careful of the dry skin. That's nice.
That's a great shave. Great, great shave. This little laser is terrific. Very, very, very efficient. No nicks, no cuts, no weepers that I can see. Nothing. I mean, I can't... Nothing. I mean, it's really nice. I mean, terrific shave. Really, really nice shave. And it got my chin, got the corners of my mouth, got those little bits underneath my nose. Yeah, that's... that's... It's a very, very efficient razor. Gave me a nice, close, efficient shave without any fear of cutting myself or nicking myself. Uh, so yeah, uh, perhaps, perhaps it is two and a half. I, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's the style of this razor head. This, this, it's styled after the British Gillette Tech razor head. And uh, when you find the proper angle within the 30 degree angle, it really does smooth out a little bit. So there are times when I think I was shaving with this where I really wasn't in the sweet spot like I should be. When you're in the sweet spot, yeah, you get it. It's really smooth and it's, and it's really mild and efficient. But boy, that's, that's terrific and it looks great. And uh, really beautiful profile and again, I mean, a terrific shave. I mean, a terrific, terrific shave. So yeah, the uh, Replitech JFK edition from Global Shave Club and Sheldon Quinn. Wow, I'll have links below. It is terrific. I also have a link, well, a link to the page for this razor and we'll read all the history. That's some great copy to read there. It really is neat, neat history. All right, hey, thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe. Please like, hit that bell so they give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady where you'll find all the products I review on this channel organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.